A man desirous of success once asked one of the Stoic sages, Sage, today we are living in a time of great opportunity. We live in an era of abundance, which perhaps never existed before. We live in a place where opportunities are plentiful for all. Then why is it that only a few people are able to attain wisdom and inner peace? The Stoic sage replied and said, Let's consider the lives of a hundred people who began their philosophical journey at the age of 25. Can you speculate where these individuals will be in their lives by the time they reach the age of 65? These 100 people believe, and they wholeheartedly believe, that by starting their philosophical journey at the age of 25, they will surely attain wisdom and inner peace. If you ask any of these people if they wish to attain wisdom, they will all answer, of course, I want to attain wisdom. If you observe these individuals more closely, you will notice that they have a passion for life. There is a unique sparkle in their eyes, and they possess a strong determination in their demeanor. Life becomes an intriguing journey for them. However, by the time they reach the age of 65, do you know what will happen? Only one of them will truly achieve the wisdom and inner peace they seek. Four will have attained wisdom to a significant extent and five will still be struggling on their philosophical path. The remaining 90 will have either given up or become entangled in the quagmire of confusion, and they may even rely on others for their basic needs. Just imagine, out of a hundred, only five people could reach any level of wisdom, but what is the reason that so many people fail? What happened to the initial enthusiasm and determination they had at the age of 25? What happened to their dreams, hopes, and intentions? what they aspired to achieve in their lives and what they were actually able to accomplish. And why is there such a difference between? The person said to the sage, when you say that only 5% of people can attain wisdom, then first you have to clearly explain the meaning of wisdom. The sage replied, I am going to share the true meaning of wisdom. Wisdom means achieving a clear and thoughtful understanding of life and progressing in that direction. If a person is working toward a clearly defined, unchanging goal and understands the direction they are heading in, only then is that person truly wise. If they do not do this, they are lacking in wisdom. In other words, wisdom involves comprehending a set goal and making deliberate progress in that direction. In fact, the opposite of courage in our society is not cowardice or timidity, but conformity or compliance. This is the most significant challenge faced by humans today and a primary reason for the failure of so many. Compliance entails following the crowd without thinking. Most people do this without thought, without understanding what they are doing, why they are doing it, or where they are going. They blindly follow what others are doing. The problem is that people behave like the 95% who do not attain wisdom. The person asked the sage, why do so many people imitate others? The sage smiled and replied, perhaps even they themselves do not know the answer to this. Once a question was posed to a group of people, why do you work? Why do you rise early in the morning? 19 out of 20 people had no concrete answer to this. Most of them said that everyone wakes up in the morning and goes to work, so they are doing the same. These people believe that their lives are predetermined they are controlled by external forces and circumstances. Let us return to the definition of wisdom. Who becomes wise? Only the person who clearly defines their goal and diligently works toward it. Such a person is certain that they must achieve this in their life. They begin working in that direction. I tell you who are the wise ones. The teacher is wise when they are teaching because it is what they have always wanted to do. The woman is wise in her life when she fulfills the role of a wife and mother because that was her aspiration. She is fulfilling her responsibility admirably. A shopkeeper running a shop in a corner of the market is wise because they set the goal of pursuing this profession. The businessman is wise when they have established their business because it aligns with their dream. And that athlete is wise who aspires to become the best in their region and country and works diligently toward that goal. People who have a life goal are wise because they know where they are heading, the direction in which they are moving, and where they will arrive. It's a simple concept. On the other hand, 
Those who do not achieve wisdom believe that their life path is determined by their circumstances. That is, they attribute everything that happens to external forces. In simple terms, true wisdom belongs to those who are thoughtfully working toward a clearly defined goal. But only one out of twenty does this. The rest fail in this regard. The person asked the next question to the sage. I am very surprised that so many people in the world work hard and honestly, yet they do not achieve anything special in life. Meanwhile, some people appear to attain everything without significant effort. It's as if they possess a magic touch. I've heard people say that whatever they touch turns to gold. Why do some individuals become more successful and continually strive for success, while others become increasingly unsuccessful and persistently work toward failure? What distinguishes them? The sage responded and explained that the key distinction lies in their goals. Those who have a clear goal and work systematically toward it are successful. They know precisely where they are headed. Let me illustrate this with an example. Think of a ship about to depart from port. Its entire journey has been carefully planned and mapped out. The captain and crew of that ship know exactly where the ship is headed and how long the journey will take. Such a ship has a well-defined goal. A ship with a defined goal and a clear path will reach its destination almost every time, about 99% of the time. In other words, it achieves its goal with unwavering accuracy. Now, consider another ship that is identical to the first, with one crucial difference. It lacks a captain and crew. It has no set destination or goal. We simply set it adrift. You would agree that, after departing from port, it will either drift aimlessly and sink, get stranded on a deserted shore, or get caught in a storm and be destroyed. Such a ship can never reach its destination because it lacks a goal and does not have a crew to guide it. The same applies to human beings. The person asked the next question. Why do people imitate others who lack a definite goal? The sage smiled and said, perhaps even they themselves do not know the answer to this. The sage went on. The truth is that a goalless life is like that aimless ship. People who have no clear goal do not know where they are going or what they want to achieve in life. They meander through life without direction and they attribute everything to external forces. They are conforming to the norm, blindly following others without reflection. Most people act like the 95% who do not attain wisdom. The person asked the next question. Why do people with a clear goal become successful while those without a goal become unsuccessful? The sage said, allow me to share some insights that, if truly understood, will bring about profound changes in your life. Your life will not be the same as it is today. You will suddenly attain the prosperity you have long desired. Everything you desire will manifest and you will be free from the worries, troubles and circumstances that have plagued you for so long. Worries and fear will become a thing of the past. What is the key to success and failure? I will tell you, we become what we think. Let me reiterate, what we think, so we become. Throughout history, great teachers, philosophers, saints, and even prophets have often disagreed on various matters. However, they all unanimously agreed on one thing. A person becomes what they think. A great person once said, a man's life is a reflection of his thoughts, that is, his life is a reflection of his thoughts, or you could say that a person becomes what they think. Another great individual stated, if a person possesses a will and a modicum of patience, they can achieve anything. In simple terms, a person with a clear goal can achieve it under any circumstance. If they possess a strong intention, no obstacle can hinder them, as they are willing to stake their very existence to reach their goal. A person can change their life by changing their thoughts and ideas. The key is to develop a strong determination for a specific goal and keep that goal at the forefront of your mind. It should not be that your attention is divided among many different pursuits. Success is attainable for those who believe. One of the greatest rules of the universe is that if our thinking is negative, we will yield negative results. 
If our thinking is positive, all our actions will produce positive results. This is a simple truth and forms the foundation of success and prosperity in life. In four words, it can be summed up as believe and you will succeed because disbelief, self-doubt, is a sign of failure. Our worries and self-doubts often cheat us, preventing us from even attempting opportunities we could have easily seized. As mentioned earlier, we become what we think about most. Therefore, if you consistently think about a particular goal, you will undoubtedly achieve it. If you desire wealth with all your heart, you will become rich. If you desire wisdom, you must become wise. Similarly, if you wish to become a better person, you must grow into one. The key is to have a deep and unwavering determination with your sole focus on that goal. It should not be that your attention is scattered among various pursuits. Everything is possible for those who believe. One of the fundamental laws of the universe is that if our thinking is negative, we will yield negative results. If our thinking is positive, everything we do will result in positive outcomes. This is a straightforward truth that underlies success and prosperity in life. In four words, it can be summarized as believe and you will succeed because disbelief, self-doubt, is a sign of failure. Our worries and self-doubts often deceive us, making us hesitant to even attempt opportunities we could have easily seized. As I mentioned earlier, we become what we think about most. Therefore, if you consistently think about a particular goal, you will undoubtedly achieve it. If you desire wealth with all your heart, you will become rich. If you desire wisdom, you must become wise. Similarly, if you wish to become a better person, you must grow into one. The key is to have a deep and unwavering determination with your sole focus on that goal. It should not be that your attention is scattered among various pursuits. Everything is possible for those who believe. The person asked the sage, why do we become what we think? The sage said, let's delve into the answer to this question in detail. Imagine a farmer who owns a small piece of land. The land is vast, fertile, and rich. The land does not discriminate. It allows the farmer to plant whatever seeds he chooses. The land does not care what is sown in it. It simply yields what the farmer has sown. The human mind operates similarly to this land. Like the land, the human mind is indifferent to the kind of thoughts we sow in it. It reflects whatever is sown within it, be it positive or negative. The same principle applies to positive and negative thoughts. If you sow positive thoughts, you will reap the harvest of success and wisdom. If you sow negative thoughts, you will experience failure. Now, let's assume that the farmer has two types of seeds, one for mango and the other for acacia, a thorny plant. The farmer plants both seeds in the ground and tends to them. Whatever was sown in the ground, the land yields it. Both plants grow. The land doesn't distinguish between producing grains or poison. It simply multiplies what was sown. The human mind is even more fertile, deceptive and miraculous than the land, but it operates in the same manner. The mind doesn't care about the nature of the thoughts we plant, whether they are thoughts of success, happiness, wisdom or failure, fear, negativity and anxiety. It simply reflects what we sow, knowingly or unknowingly. Do you know that the human mind is the only thing on earth today that has not been fully comprehended to date? It is filled with endless potential for happiness and prosperity. If we infuse it with the right and positive thoughts, it will yield. Success beyond our wildest imagination. The person asked, if this is true and it indeed works, why do people not use their minds properly? The Sega responded, the human mind has been given to us free of charge since birth as a developed and advanced instrument. It is in human nature to undervalue things we receive for free, giving more importance to things for which we've paid a price. However, in reality, it's the opposite. The most important and meaningful things in our lives, such as our bodies, minds, souls, smiles, intelligence, hopes, desires, dreams, family, children, and love from friends. All these precious things come to us for free. Even the gifts of nature, like wind, sunshine, water, and soil are freely given. 
but the things we spend money on are, in fact, less valuable and replaceable. What we receive freely from nature is incomparable and irreplaceable. Furthermore, the power of the human brain has not been fully harnessed. Our brains are incredibly powerful and versatile, capable of almost any task we set for them. Yet, more often than not, we use this extraordinary capacity for trivial and inconsequential pursuits. In fact, throughout their entire lives, humans typically access only a small fraction of their brain's potential, leaving the rest untouched. That is why you must decide. What do you want from your mind? What do you desire? You must plant the seed of your goal in your mind. This is the most critical decision of your life. Do you wish to excel in your work? Do you aspire to reach great heights in society and your community? Or do you seek wealth? If your answer to any of these questions is yes, then all you must do is plant the seed of your goal in your heart and mind and nurture it with unwavering dedication and hard work. Continue moving forward with unrelenting effort. Soon, the day will come when your dreams materialize. There is no doubt, it will undoubtedly happen. This is not merely a matter of desire, it is one of the many laws of nature. Just like the law of gravity, what goes up must come down. The laws of nature are infallible and always operational. If you think positively about your goal, believe in yourself and accept no defeat then success will come to you with open arms and embrace you with all its might and speed. If you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up to help us reach more people seeking ancient wisdom. If you're new here, subscribe and click the notification bell for more lessons on ancient wisdom. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. To watch more videos on Stoic Wisdom, choose one of the videos that will appear on your screen now.